Hello, Crime Alice Nation. How's everybody's day going? Today's video is the top 10 celebrities that have killed someone. Number 10. In 2001, Noxama girl Rebecca Gayhart hit a nine year old with a car and, lay, and he later died from his injuries. She was convicted of vehicular manslaughter, a charge to which she plead no contest. Number 9. Olympic champion and reality TV star Kathleen Jenner was involved in a fatal car accident on the Malibu stretch of PCH in February 2015. According to eyewitnesses, Kathleen Jenner's SUV reared ended a white car and sent it carrying into oncoming traffic. It was then struck by a hammer. The driver of the white car was killed and the seven others in the car sustained injuries. Jenner was not hurt in the wreck. Number 8 In 1987, Matthew Bardbrick and his then girlfriend and Ferris Bueller Day Off co star Jennifer Grey were on vacation in Ireland. Bardrick mistakenly drove the wrong way on a street and crashed into an oncoming vehicle. The driver and passenger in the other car both died. From their injuries. Number seven. Boxing promoter Don King killed two men in separate incidences. King killed the first man in self defense when the man was trying to break into his gambling operation. King was convicted of second degree murder for the second incident in which he stomped to d a person to death, an employee who owed him $600. It was just bit severe to do to someone who owed you $600. Number 6. In 1984, Motley Crue frontman Vince Neil was involved in a drunk driving accident in which his passenger Nicholas Razzo Dingley was killed. The two inversions in the other car also suffered brain damage. Though Neil's blood alcohol level was 0.17 at the time of the accident, he sp he spent only 15 days in jail. It was a pretty short sentence. You're going to notice that on this list. Number 5 is blues legend Lead 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 Belly had a bad temper. And he was charged with murder for killing one of his relatives. The two men were fighting over a woman. Number 4 In 2012 
Sons of Anarchy actor Johnny Lewis broke into the home of 81 year old Catherine Davis, ransacked her home, and then killed her and her cat. Witnesses then saw Lewis jump over a fence, assault a neighbor, and return to the Davis house. He fell or jumped from a roof and died. Lewis had been born in a Scientologist family and worked for the church's drug rehab group. Nakron, not Conan. Despite a later history of drug use, an autopsy report showed that Lewis had no drugs or alcohol in his system when he died. Number three. Former Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dwayne Godrick was convicted of two counts of criminally negligent homicide in 2003 while driving on the a Dallas freeway. He struck and killed two motorists who were on the side of the road trying to rescue a man from a burning car. He was sentenced to seven years in prison and he later had five more years added. Which is still too short for taking more than one life. Number two. Dr. John Landis. Director John Landis was charged with involuntary manslaughter after an incident accident on the set of his film Twilight Zone caused the deaths of actor Vic Murrow and two children who were extras. Landis was later acquitted of the charge, but he paid two million to each of the families of the children who died. To me he should have got a little worse punishment. And you can't put a price on a life. Number one. Please put your guesses down below what you think number one's gonna be. O.J. Simpson was arrested and charged with murder of his ex-wife Nicole Brown and her friend Ron, Ronald Goldman, though he was eventually found not guilty. Many believe that Simpson literally got away with murder. When I was going to school, I had to do this, study this case more than once. To me, the evidence does point to O.J. Simpson did commit murder and got away with it. That's just my opinion and that opinion is based on everything that I've learned from the case and in both of my degrees. If you guys like this video please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel please subscribe and if you want to know when I post another video turn on that bell notification. If you guys have any video topics that you would like to see me cover, comment down below any ideas you have. If you have any feedback on how I can make my videos better, also comment that down below. I hope you guys have a fun and safe weekend. Make sure to drink enough water because it's going to be a really hot weekend. This is Criminals Nation and I'm out.